All the religions of the world have been waiting for the advent of a global reformer to unite the world and bring mankind back to its creator. Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad alayhi salam claimed to be that long-awaited promised messiah in fulfillment of the prophecies contained in all the world religions. In 1889, he officially started the Ahmadiyya Muslim community when 40 devoted souls accepted the oath of allegiance at his hand. In one of his revelations, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad alayhi salam announced that Allah the Almighty promised him, I shall cause thy message to reach the corners of the earth. In fulfillment of this prophecy, despite the severe opposition against the members of the community, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat has reached over 210 countries of the world, Sierra Leone inclusive. On the 19th February 1921, a devoted companion of the promised Messiah, alayhi salam, Maulana Abdurrahim Nayar Sahib, may Allah be pleased with him, on his way to Ghana, visited the shores of Sierra Leone and planted the seed of Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat in the country. In 1929, another companion of the promised Messiah, alayhi salam, Hakim Fazlur Rahman Sahib, may Allah be pleased with him, also visited Sierra Leone for a period of three months in order to preach and train the Jamaat members. In 1937, the second worldwide head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community graciously sent Maulana Al-Haji Nazir Ahmad Ali Sahib, may Allah be pleased with him, as the first resident missionary in Sierra Leone. The year 2021 marks 100 years of the existence of the community in Sierra Leone. In these 100 years, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community in the country has had tremendous successes. To cater for the spiritual needs of its members, the Jamaat has succeeded in building hundreds of mosques, opened Jamia to train missionaries, translation of the Holy Quran into two major local languages of the country, three radio stations, MTA studios, and a printing press to disseminate the message of Islam Ahmadiyyat. In the field of education, the Jamaat can account for over 300 schools providing quality education for the people of Sierra Leone. The community has had hospitals across different districts in the country, including Kenema and the capital Freetown, providing healthcare services to the poor and needy. Humanity First, an NGO under the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, has also been very active in providing basic humanitarian needs, cataract operations, annual operations, and other disaster relief services for the people of the country. These enormous achievements will not have been possible without the blessed guidance and prayers of Kulafai Ahmadiyat, the successors of the promised Messiah alayhi salam. To further strengthen the faith of the Ahmadis in Sierra Leone, in 1970 and 1988, Hazrat Mizan Nasir Ahmad, may Allah be pleased with him, the third worldwide head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, and Hazrat Mirza Tahir Ahmad, the fourth worldwide head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, visited Sierra Leone respectively. Today, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community has spread in all the districts of the country, with its membership rapidly growing. The Ahmadiyya Muslim community is a household name in Sierra Leone, and well recognized and respected for its spiritual and developmental activities in the country. It has been 100 years of living in and sharing our Sierra Leone, your Sierra Leone, in peace and in harmony. Since missionary Naya's first public lecture at the Fru Bay Mosque in Freetown in 1921, followed by the pioneering mission work of Nazi Ahmed Ali, the Ahmadiyya mission has continued to enrich lives from Mangebure to Rukupu, from Baumau to Bo, from Freetown to Maburuka, throughout Sierra Leone. So let me commend <clears throat> the Ahmadiyya mission in Sierra Leone. First, in its focus effort over the last nearly 100 years, in investing in human capital development. What better way to live up to the inspirational motto of the Ahmadiyya mission? Love for all and hatred for none. What, a bit, what better way to cater for the whole of the human being? Let me conclude, ladies and gentlemen, by affirming my government's 
staunch support for the mission and activities of the Ahmadiyya Jamaat. Your work in Sierra Leone has continued changing lives for the better for generations. May the peace and blessing of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, be upon each and every one of you through your deliberations in this 56th annual religious conference. And I thank you all, and God bless you all. As a mission, when I don't contribute towards the development of this country, in the field of education, in health, in community development, I'm not sure. And we all don't see them. We don't see examples of it. When our students then don't serve in government, as ministers, as deputy ministers, as members of parliament, ambassadors, everywhere. And we, as a government, and me as a president, I don't always make come a point of duty for come in this conference for make we can show appreciation of the effort Kona they do for carry the country forward. For make we can appreciate Una on how Una they join governments for build the nation, how Una they build communities, how Una they bring people together. And as a government, we appreciate that. No go on account all these thousands of people, all say quiet, orderly, not disciplined. It's because of Una beliefs, and that is what Islam stands for. The Ahmadiyya mission, the work, don't, don't do excellent work. Now I make today the Ahmadiyya mission don't become a household name in Sierra Leone. On behalf of His Excellency, the President, the government, and the people of this country, I want to personally tell the Ahmadiyya mission thank you for the great work we don't do in this country. I can tell people and say, we the World Bank. The United Nations, then they talk today about human capital development. The Amadia mission been done start human capital development over eight years ago. The Amadia mission believes in and works for peace and has proved beyond all reasonable doubt that they are a peaceful Muslim group working for the unity of mankind in my country. Sierra Leone and the world recognize and commend your great effort in spiritual, moral training, building of mocks, missionary training colleges, schools, vocational institutions, hospitals, and clinics. In my country, Sierra Leone, I'm proud to say that 50 years of our independence and the success stories behind the independence could not have been possible without the great contribution made by the Ahmadi faiths and movement in Sierra Leone. We would like to state here with pride that the Ahmadiyya Muslim Mission has contributed immensely towards the socio-economic development of our country. There is no singular religious mission in any part of the world that, that has sought to unite the humankind strengthen peace and security, take hope where there is none, provided food and shelter where there is hunger and destitution, preach peace where there is hate, and provide education and employment in remote and isolated communities like the Ahmadiyya Mission. We want to tell God thank you and to the message of Ahmadiyya Mission, God don't bless me for make we direct to picking them for devote their heart and their energy and the wisdom we God give them to waiting all I want we for do. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the mission is a mission that actually tells us how life should be. It is a mission that continues to teach us. It is a mission that for make we know say peace for the among we serve. May God continue to bless the effort of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat in this country and worldwide. Long live Sierra Leone. Long live Ahmadiyyat. Love for all, hatred for none. <laughs>
أحمدية زنت بار أحمدية زنت بار سراليون زنت بار هندرد ياس أحمدية إن سراليون زنت بار نارين